LinkedIn wants to be your daily source for business news. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. LinkedIn has enhanced the LinkedIn Today news section with channels. LinkedIn Today is designed to be a place where you can find all the top business stories that are being shared by users. With channels, you can personalize what news topics you want to see with categories such as healthcare, technology, marketing, and leadership. Right now, it's just for the desktop, and LinkedIn's working to add it to mobile. LinkedIn has been quite busy lately with changes, all to get you to visit the network on a regular basis. It recently bought the newsreader app Pulse so it can bring you more content. And just last week, the site now lets you post images of your projects on your resume, and you can get comments from other users about it. That'll be most helpful for people who create visual content, like graphic designers, photographers, or advertisers. Could the Start button come back to Windows? A Microsoft executive says it's possible. Julie Larson-Green, the corporate vice president of Windows, says the company is having meaningful discussions about bringing back older features like that start button to Windows 8, but she left it at that. Since Windows 8 launched in October with a radically new interface, some people have complained about missing classic features like a start button. There is a learning curve for using Windows 8, and she told an audience at the Wired Business Conference in New York that Microsoft has some work to do in explaining how the full Windows 8 system is different from Windows RT, which you'll find on the Surface RT tablet. Do you miss the start button or other features, or have you fully adapted by now to Windows 8? You can send your thoughts to update at CNET.com, post a comment on the blog, or send a 15-second video with tout, and your video might end up on a future episode. If you have a Ford car with Sync App Link and you have an Apple mobile device, well, now you have a new perk. Vehicles with Ford Sync App Link can now listen to music with the iOS Amazon Cloud Player app. You might not get the chance to travel to Mars, but you can at least try to get your name sent to the Red Planet. NASA is working with the University of Colorado Boulder to create the Going to Mars campaign, in which a spacecraft named MAVEN will be sent to Mars in November to study the planet's upper atmosphere. And on that spacecraft, there'll be a DVD, and you can have your name on that DVD. And if you're a poet, you might even get to send a haiku to Mars. But only three haikus will be chosen by an online public vote. The deadline for submissions is July 1st. You can find the link to Going to Mars campaign on our show blog at CNET.com slash update. That's your tech news update from our studios in New York. I'm Bridget Carey.